Have you ever wondered how your hands get warm when you hold a hot cup of coffee? Or why a metal spoon left in a pot of boiling soup becomes too hot to touch? Or how the sun's heat reaches us here on Earth? Welcome to the fascinating world of heat transfer. Picture a molecule, it's in a hot object buzzing with energy. Now, if another molecule comes into direct contact with it, this energy can be passed on. This is the essence of conduction. It's like a game of hot potato at a molecular level where heat energy is the potato. Solids with their tightly packed molecules are champions at this game. But liquids and gases, although not as swift, can play too. Now imagine a pot of water on a stove. The heat from the stove warms the bottom layer of water. The hot water molecules being lighter rise to the top, allowing the cooler ones to sink down and get heated in turn. This dance of hot and cold molecules is known as convection. While conduction was a game of hot potato, convection is more like a relay race, with heat energy as the baton. Mostly liquids and gases participate in this race, but some solids, such as the Earth's mantle, join in too. And then there's radiation, a solo act. It doesn't need molecules to travel, instead it rides on electromagnetic waves, like a surfer on an ocean wave. This is how the sun's heat reaches us across the vast emptiness of space. Radiation may not be the fastest mode of heat transfer, but it certainly has its moments of glory, such as in heating buildings and cooking food. And the best part? All these three modes of heat transfer can, and often do, occur simultaneously. Think about cooking a meal on a stove. The heat travels from the stove to the pan by conduction, from the pan to the food by conduction and convection, and finally from the food to the air by convection and radiation. So there you have it, conduction, convection and radiation, the three musketeers of heat transfer. Understanding them not only helps us make sense of everyday phenomena, but also underpins many technological applications. From predicting weather patterns, to designing energy-efficient buildings, to cooking a perfect roast, these modes of heat transfer are truly indispensable. Remember, it's a cold world out there without heat transfer.